Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Long time no see, I know. Um, what, it's been like five or six months since I've uploaded something of substance and consistency. <sighs> Things have changed. Things are different. And um, this isn't going to be a cliche video. I have an idea of what I want to talk about in terms of what my channel is going to turn into. I'm not going to apologize for anything. I'm not going to hype you guys up and tell you to expect granular things in the future for me it's not going to be like that as it used to be um i'm different in the sense of my ideas and my plans for the future and i'm a lot more headstrong now i don't know if you guys can tell but i've always thought of coming back to youtube and going all out again but this has to come down to a hobby first instead of plans for something bigger in the future and it sucks. And a part of me really hates that because... Oh, by the way, complete off topic, but I'm in my kitchen right now. Uh, I'll explain that in a little bit. But usually I do these videos in my room, so the, the environment's a little bit different, but bear with me on that. But YouTube was so much better when I was... When I didn't have anything going for me, you know what I mean? And I always explain this, uh, I always explain this to people. But when I made my channel, I originally made it when I had nothing else going for me, I had graduated from high school. I wasn't working because I injured my foot and I had surgery, and I wasn't in college yet. So during that time, I made my vid, my, I made my channel, I made my videos to kind of keep me preoccupied, and because I kind of wanted to get into the community of making reviews and reactions and stuff like that. And I've come a long way. You know, go look at my first videos; they're cringeworthy, which I'm proud I can say that. But, anyways. It's, it can't be the same as it used to be, you know, uploading a video every day and stuff like that. You know, when Hunter and Naruto and Kuriko and stuff like that were out. You know, Ruby, which Volume 3 is around, which I will explain that in a little bit. That's probably a piece of the title that I, that I put in there for you guys. But I understand that even though my intentions were honest and I had the best intentions for you guys when it came to making my videos... I can't follow up with my words in terms of me being able to say, I'm going to be bringing new anime series here and there, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't be doing that anymore, you know? Um, I'm working again, I'm going to college in three months, and um, right now I'm just working and just chilling right now, so I'm able to do these videos, and I'll still probably be able to do these videos once I start school, but it's, I can't make that guarantee, I can't make that promise. Um, but all that aside, because I feel like this is getting really somber, what the hell have I been up to lately? So, reason why I'm in my kitchen and the rest of my house is trashed is because we were planning on moving. I haven't had internet in two months, partially due to unforeseen events, and then it kind of worked in our favor because we were like, okay, well, we're moving anyway, we can transfer our services to our other house. Turns out, last minute, we're not moving anymore. So my house is crazy, my room's a mess, and we have to basically reorganize the house and all that stuff. So that's why I'm in my kitchen right now. I haven't had internet in a while either. So I haven't been watching any anime. I haven't been doing anything. I haven't been online playing League or PlayStation with my friends and stuff like that. But um, I've been doing other things really. I've been reading a lot more. Uh, I've been just getting a lot more informed and stuff like that. Uh, I, I watched all the Harry Potter movies that I owned when I didn't have internet. I was like, oh my gosh, there's nothing to do. So I watched all the Harry Potter movies, and then I got really nostalgic, so I started buying the books again and reading them like I did when I was a kid. So I'm doing a lot of reading, starting with Harry Potter. I bought a um, Stephen King book. Uh, I think it was called like Bizarre Dreams or something. I just bought it on a whim, but I do want to get into it because I know Stephen King's a really awesome art, uh, author. So I got that. I got a few Harry Potter books. I'm reading those. And uh, I've been watching the Studio Ghibli films. I mentioned this on, on Facebook at a friend's house. I went on Facebook and I messaged it to people. But I've done those movies a disservice by not watching them soon. I was only watching The Wind Rises. The, that's the only one I've ever seen. And then I watched Howl's Moving Castle, um, Tales of Earthsea, My Neighbors, The Yamadas. And I'm currently watching, um, I'm currently watching The Cat's Return. And I watched Ponyo. Fantastic 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 movies like amazing you know forms of art works of art and really great in in you know their enjoyment and you know the messages that they convey really awesome and i'm gonna watch all of them because i have the movie collection a friend let me borrow so i'm watching those uh video games i've been playing a shit ton of fallout 4 offline but it's still fallout 4 it's fucking awesome i played a little bit of tales of hysteria not my favorite of the tales series so i got rid of it 
And um, other than that, I'm just waiting on borrowed time right now. I'm working. I'm working overnight. I went back to McDonald's, but I'm only going to be there until like January, February, just making money, saving money and making money. Um, before I start school, I'm doing like my financial aid and stuff like that right now. I have to take my placement test pretty soon. And I start school, I think, January or February. So right after the holidays, I'm going to be leaving McDonald's, going to school. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a major in mind. But what I'm considering is um, writing, English and writing with uh, computer production. And it's kind of like a long story. But since I graduated high school, I feel really I don't, I don't want to say I feel dumb, but I feel like my drive to learn more and be more educated and be more uh, of an academic has plateaued since I graduated. And it's kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have the drive when I'm around my friends because none of them go to school. Like, they all just have their own lives and they work. So I've always had the drive to go to college, but it's taken me really long. I'm 25 now. And, you know, I'm going to kick, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? I'd rather be 25 and go to college now than be 30 and realize that it's not as practical as it was five years ago. And, um, I kind of want to get into the realm of the video game industry. Uh, I worked at GameStop for a little bit here and there and all of that stuff. And this is just, I'm just throwing my mind out to you guys right now because this is a lot of the stuff that I've been thinking about. Um... I write for a gaming website. I've been writing for a game, this gaming website since March, and um, that's mainly why I want to go to college for writing and stuff. I want to like improve the craft, and I, I feel like I'm not really that great at writing. I want I'm reading more so I can get a better sense of vocabulary. Obviously, it's Harry Potter books, so those are really low level. But eventually, I'm gonna expand my my repertoire of books and read a lot more. And just I want an expanded library of vocabulary that I can, you know, I want to just sound more articulate and be more articulate and be more informed and educated on subject matters that pertain to what I'm interested in, like video games or anime, for example. Um, so that's what I'm going to college for. And it feels so good to actually say that I'm going to college now because back in the day, it was something that I was really, um, self-conscious about, you know, I was really self-conscious, like, damn, I'm not going to college, all my friends are in college, some of them are already finished with college, and I still haven't started, you know what I mean, it's like, what the hell have I been doing with my life, <sighs> but all that aside, my life is looking a lot better, um, I'm going to be going to college for two years, and then I'm going away for college for the last two years, so, and then at that point, hopefully, I'll come out a better person than I am today, and, uh, see a few things and meet different people and have a different flavor of life um, and really see what I'm made of when I'm on my own. But all that aside, that's all personal biz. What's this video about? Obviously, I'm not put it. This channel isn't completely dead. Obviously, like I mentioned, it's not going to be as consistent as like when Hunter or Naruto were out and I was making those weekly and some of those daily with topic discussions and stuff. Um, Ruby Volume 3. I already mentioned this to a few people, a few friends of mine, and the community, but I haven't had internet since the week before Ruby started, which was in October. So it's been roughly almost two months since I haven't had internet. It is December 1st. It's also Philip DeFranco's birthday. I just remembered that. But, um, it's been almost two months since I haven't had internet, and I was so pissed because I, I love Ruby. You know what I mean? Monty is like a huge inspiration of mine, and his work is still continuing with Ruby Volume 3, and it's going to be awesome. And I've only seen the first two episodes. However, I did live react to both of those and review both of those. I just don't have internet right now to upload any of these videos. Even this one right now, I still don't have internet. I'm getting it later this week. So... Um, you guys can expect Ruby reviews and reactions from me in the next week or so. So probably by the 7th, I'll have my videos uploaded, especially this one, explaining my whole ordeal and everything. And I have another idea for a video idea or a reaction idea that I'm not going to let mention to you guys because I don't want to sell you on something and not be able to deliver it. But I do have another idea in mind of a series that I want to watch and you guys are going to enjoy it for sure but and I also have others on backlog as well so a lot of things you guys can expect but uh ultimately that's the video this is mainly what I'm talking about I'm going to be coming back but in smaller strides um you guys are probably going to get one to two videos a week from me 
based on what I'm into or whatever or what's going on with me. So I hope you guys can enjoy and appreciate that. Thank you all. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really expecting and I'm really hoping to see some familiar faces in the comments of this video. I know it's not anything in terms of, oh, wow, he's bringing something that I'm looking forward to. No, it's like, I don't know. Uh, this is just an update. I am going to be bringing Ruby at least. And this is just an update overall is where I am in my life. So I hope you guys can understand it. Um, like I said, it's not going to be as consistent and steady, but I still will try to make it the best way I can for you guys. So without that, with all of that, I mean, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for the support that you guys have shown me, and I will try to get on the ball with what I have in mind. So thanks a lot. Oh, and I hope you guys all had a good Thanksgiving. That's the last thing, too. Thanksgiving was last week or so, so... Uh, just extending that at least because I know it's belated and Christmas is right around the corner. So I hope you guys all had a really awesome Thanksgiving. I did too. It was really small, just me and my brother and my mom. But we made the most of it and we have each other. And I hope you guys all had a good Thanksgiving as well. So thank you guys for checking this out. I appreciate it. Stay tuned and I will see you guys in the near future hopefully. Peace.